I'm here to talk to you about things I like about surfing that are not surfing, like bonfires, getting out of the water and uh, warming up at a fire. The reason I got the idea for this is we, we were talking with some of my friends about things we're passionate about. And we kind of realized that it's not just the thing we do that we like, it's all the things that surround it. So I thought, well, what are the things around surfing that I really like that are not surfing? And traveling is certainly one. I think everybody likes traveling. But traveling and surfing are really synonymous. And they give, there's waves around the world. Everywhere you go, you can surf. Everywhere you go, you can take time to see the local environment and culture. I think the surf check is a, is a really great moment in my life, whether it's getting up in the morning or going somewhere after work to get, go down to the beach and just see what things look like. Or in this case, pulling up at the beach after a 10-hour drive, cramped in the car and wondering, hey, is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? It's a great feeling of wonder and anticipation. My two older boys grew up at the beach, and that's really a blessing I have around surfing. They were hanging out at the beach when I was surfing. I love to go surfing with them now. And uh, you know that's been a really good thing around surfing for me as my family. Having adventures is uh, something I love doing, and this is uh, piling in a boat, going out a couple of miles out in the ocean in a remote location to a sandbar just to wonder if there's any surf out there. And maybe it really wasn't the surf we got or didn't get. It was the fun of doing it. And you come back, and those are the memories you have left. These days, you can surf the internet and find waves anywhere on Google Earth. This happens to be a point break, a left point break. I'm never going to surf. It's in North Korea, um, possibly Kim Jong-un's private surf spot. But there are spots I have found on Google Earth. And uh, there's a spot off of uh, Mexico, an island uh, off of Mexico that spotted on Google Earth, looked pretty good, rallied a boat to get out there. And uh, there ended up being some little waves out there. So you know, it's kind of fun. And it all started by you know, gazing at Google Earth. <laughs> I love taking people surfing for the first time. The guy on the right came from Canada, wanted to surf. And you know, you see people smile and just have a fun time getting out in the water for the first time. It's something that really brings joy to everybody's heart. Got pummeled, humiliated, but came out of the water just a renewed guy. And it's fun to do that. Just hanging out at the beach, you get a lot of downtime if you're on surf trips and you have to do something. Um, you know, maybe carve up some kelp or make some little rock sculptures, find some way to be creative and, you know, hang out between surf sessions or whatever is going to be coming up. I met a lot of friends surfing. Here's uh, some guys I met at a, a hostel down in South Africa. I'm friends with all of them still. Eight, ten years later, I just went to one of the guys' weddings. And you know, I've got from traveling and surfing, I've met a lot of people, made a lot of friends through the years, and it's something I just love about it. it. Brings people together. In the old days, we used to get postcards or letters or snapshots. Today, you can send an email. This is a, you know, a, a picture I got from my son surfing in Angola. Found a, a left-hand point break. Says the best wave he ever surfed in his life. And that feeling you get when you get open up a letter or something, and you see, wow, people are having a great time. Wonderful. And then surfing like anything with exercise, you like to eat, you like to grub down. I call it the post-surf grub, a chance to kind of hang out with your buddies and talk about the waves that you just got or waves you didn't get. But everybody likes eating food. Pink donuts. Yeah. I love stories. I love to have pictures that remind me of stories. I lived in Spain for a couple years in Madrid, 400, years from the 400 miles from the coast. <laughs> Felt like that. Finally got up after six months, and on the very first wave, snapped my board. So you know, just having those stories you get after, uh, after kind of a lifetime of doing that. I'm a geologist, as you heard. Um, everywhere I go and surf, I look at the rocks. I try to understand what's going on. And, and, and this is uh, up on top of a volcano. I'm kind of educating my son about volcanic processes and taking a break between surf sessions. And that's a really fun thing, too. I think everybody likes hanging at the beach. Everybody, I'm sure, can relate to that. Um, you know, hanging out with your friends, your family, uh, you know, a chance to just go down, get a little surf, and not really worry too much about it, but just 
kick back on the beach, enjoy some sun, and have some fun. I think everybody relates to that. When you surf, everything's a wave, um, whether it's a rock, you can find them in, in snow, you can find them in, in hedges, the way people prune their hedges. This is a, at Ayers Rock or Uluru in, uh, in Central Australia, a little rock wave. And I've got a million pictures like this from my life. <laughs> you know, you beachcomb when you surf, you find a lot of things. You might find a whale washed up, you find all manner of creature, flotsam, jetsam, Little plants, little shells, everything. Beachcombing is great, and it's one of the things I love about you know, surfing as an excuse to kind of just get on the beach and look around and, and find things. I like backpacking, and I like combining surfing and backpacking. There's a trip I took with two of my boys up in Northern California a couple years ago. Um, that's a really fun thing to do. You, know, you just get out for a few days and, and be out on your own and put those two things together is really fun. Gazing, <laughs> gazing at waves is something I think that all surfers can do for hours and hours on end, and most of my family don't understand whatsoever. <laughs> but uh, you can just sit and look at waves and wonder where they came from and wonder where they're going and what you would do on them and what you might not do. And then finally, I'll wrap it up and say the feeling of tranquility and serenity is the best thing. And so I hope everybody takes a moment to think about what you like to do, and it might be the things that surround it that gives you as much pleasure as the thing that it is. Thanks a lot.